Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by Prager U Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer the question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Yeah. Joining us today, we've got... Declan. And... Landon. Before coming here, each of you read our Prager U Kids digital magazine about Miller Fillmore from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Volcano surprise. Green slime. Stinky sauerkraut. Nacho cheese spray. Toothpaste. Mushy peas. Mystery eggs. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Before we play, Millard Fillmore was the 13th president of the United States from 1850 to 1853. Born into a poor farming family, he worked hard to become a lawyer and politician. His presidency began abruptly when President Taylor died. Unlike his predecessor, Fillmore supported the Compromise of 1850 in an effort to preserve the Union. His foreign policy success was overshadowed by the issue of slavery, and he was not re-elected. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah! Awesome, the youngest player goes first. Everybody get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take your hands out of the bowl for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then let's get started. Question number one goes to Declan. Young Miller Fillmore's family was poor, and he spent most of his childhood working on the family farm. Where did he work as an apprentice when he was a teenager? A, an art studio, B, a textile mill, or C, a blacksmith shop? B, a textile mill. That is correct. B, a textile mill. When Fillmore became a teenager, his father arranged for him to become an apprentice at a textile mill. The work was exhausting, and after four years, he left the mill and returned home. You know, at Prairie You Kids, we don't only talk about history. We do a little bit of chemistry in here, too. Yeah. Do you like volcanoes? Yes. Uh, let's see what we can make happen for you here. Oh, shoot. Is there going to be, like, a reaction? I don't know. Something might erupt over here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> that looks like Gatorade. I don't think Gatorade does this, though. Hopefully. Oh, shoot! Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> a little more lava. Oh, no. It, oh it smells God. bad. It smells like vinegar. Oh no, it's still going. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, it's oh, God. Boy. oh, it's oh, a hot yeah. mess in this no, volcano. Not, <laughs> Don't leave the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I think that's enough lava over there. We need room for your other messes. Yeah. <laughs> Question number two goes to Landon. Fillmore eventually became a lawyer. During this time, which secret social group was he suspicious of? A, the Masons, B, the Beatles, or C, the Yankees? A, the Masons. That is correct, the Masons. In the early 19th century, several leaders in the Democratic Party, such as President Andrew Jackson, were Masons. Fillmore and others believed that the Masons were doing evil things and trying to take over the country. He then joined the Anti-Masonic Party. You know the vibes oh here. We can't have a party without some good green slime. That's chunky. This is real chunky. I'm gonna have to... Oh my god! <laughs> oh no. It won't even get out of the bottle. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And your hair? Uh, no. Yes. I'm good. You hair. sure? Yes. I'm good. I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Wow. Oh my god. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yeah. is nice. Mix that up. Okay. Yeah, it's like oddly satisfying. Weirdly, but oddly. Ugh, my hand's all gooey. I feel like I need a napkin. Hey, Declan, what's that? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Next question goes to Declan. What powerful position did Fillmore have when he was in Congress? A, Speaker of the House, B, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, or C, Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee? C, Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. That is correct. He was chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. Fillmore was elected to Congress in 1832 and served for 10 years. He rose to become the chairman of the Powerful Ways and Means Committee, which focused on making tax laws. This is yes. one of our classics yeah. here at Guess or Mess. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Ooh. How does that smell, Declan? <laughs> Horrible. It's really that bad? Yes. I don't think it's that bad, do you? Oh, Kind of smells like um, onion dip. <laughs> Similar. Similar. Yeah. But grosser. But grosser. Let's 
see what it smells like when you add it to the lava. Oh, no. Ew. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so gross. <laughs> oh, it's so chunky. It's stinky. I can't look at it. Why can't you look at it? <laughs> That's a beautiful dish in some places. In some places. In some places, not here. <laughs> Next question goes to Landon. Under which president did Fillmore serve as vice president? Zachary Taylor. That is correct, Zachary Taylor. In 1848, the Whig Party chose Mexican-American war hero Zachary Taylor as its candidate for president. Since Taylor was a Southerner, the Whigs chose Fillmore, who was from New York, as its vice presidential candidate. Taylor and Fillmore won the election that fall. You know, sometimes... Oh, you get escorted out. <laughs> nacho it's cheese. It's nacho day. It is. <laughs> you stole my line. I, I hate nachos. Oh. Uh, God. Oh, what's even gonna happen? <laughs> oh. I wish we at least had some tortilla chips or something for exactly, you. Exactly, that'd be perfect. Uh, Are you ready? No. Hey, this thing's jammed. It's not working. Yeah. Psych. Ah! <laughs> That's so more. Gross. more, more. He wants more. I think yes. it feels nice. He definitely wants more. Does it? Yeah. What? You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> does not smell nice. Though. Just put the whole bottle on. No, I'm good. Really? I'm yeah, good. The whole I'm good. bottle. That's all. Uh, <laughs> so gross. I'm not gonna oh, do any more. That'd be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound? I don't, I know. don't know. That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your Miller Fillmore Digital Magazine. But there's a twist. You will be blindfolded for your question and mess. Oh, gosh. I'm scared. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Declan. Who invented the incandescent light bulb? A, Benjamin Franklin, B, Thomas Edison, or C, Steve Jobs? B, Thomas Edison. That is correct, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was one of the greatest inventors in American history. He was granted a then record 1,093 patents by the US government. He invented the incandescent lamp, often called the light bulb, in 1879. Speaking of light bulbs, I have a great idea. Nothing says guess or mess like worms. No. Oh my god. Oh, oh. shoot. No. Oh, oh they're alive. Wow. Wait, they're alive? I didn't know they were going to be alive. Oh shoot. Oh, this is gross. Oh. Oh no. Do you like going fishing? No. Really? This would be the bait. I mean, it could be. Mm, are they just going to be stuck on here for I'm like just ever? I'm just starving. I'm just starving. Oh sorry. shoot. Oh. <laughs> Keep your hands in the bowl. Wait, well, it smells like spaghetti. Spaghetti? Spaghetti, yeah. I wish it was spaghetti, but oh. you're not gonna want to eat that. Uh, agree. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Landon. Which state is nicknamed the Golden State? California. That is correct, California. California, California chose the Golden State as its official nickname in 1968 because of its sunny weather and because gold was discovered there in 1848. <sighs> you know, I think we uh, should give you California in a jar. Gold? I love gold. <laughs> Please be something. <gasps> I think I know. There's a lot of gross things here. Uh, you don't want to smell it? No. Just plug your nose. <laughs> oh wait, you can't. Oh yeah, you can't use our hands in a bowl. <laughs> what is that? What does it feel like? That feels like... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it smells like seaweed. Let's add a little crunch to that bowl. Oh. <gasps> I know what it is. Oh, I know I what know. that is. What is it? I think it's worms. No, I got the Unfortunately, worms. you might be right. It's crickets. No, too. it's the crickets. Let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. <laughs> <laughs> so you got seaweed, mealworms, and crickets. Oh, I wonder why I'm scared. Oh, I got spaghetti at You're drink. so lucky. I mean, maybe you guys can share your bowls later. No, uh, I'm, I'm no. good. I'm good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. And now back to Miller Fillmore. 
Next question. When President Taylor died in 1850, Fillmore became the new president. He was the blank president to take office because of the death of a predecessor. A, first, B, second, or C, third? B, second. That is correct, second. Oh, yes. In 1841, John Tyler became the first president to take office upon the death of his predecessor, William Henry Harrison. When Taylor died in 1850, Fillmore became the second. No, I want so, that. So, Landon, did you brush your teeth today? Yes. You did? Very good. I'm going to help you out anyway. I didn't. You didn't? <laughs> nice toothbrush for it. you. And let's yes. just go ahead and set the tone in the bowl. Mm. Why not? Amazing. Oh, a little bit so there. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait, now it smells good. Right it there. Smells good. Dang it! <laughs> Here at Prager U Kids, we are a cavity free organization. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Some nice magma sauerkraut on your arms. With pasta. Oh. And stir that up. Oh, God. Ew. Ugh. Want to use this to brush your teeth? Nope. Next question goes to Landon. What law did Fillmore sign as president that kept the union intact? I don't know. Ooh, let's see if Declan can steal it. What law did Fillmore sign as president that kept the union intact? I don't know either. The answer is the Compromise of 1850. Oh, dang it! <laughs> During the 1840s, Americans became more divided over the issue of slavery and whether to allow it into the new territories won during the Mexican-American War. Some worried that a civil war would break out between the two sides. Fillmore signed the Compromise of 1850 as an attempt to satisfy those for and against slavery. The law helped delay the civil war, but it didn't ultimately resolve the issue of slavery. You guys both Mystery. get the mess today. Are you gonna do that on our heads? I am. Oh, gosh. Any guesses if it's a real egg or a fake egg? I think it's fake, sadly. Oh! Oh, oh it was you got both! Almost confetti. Uh. confetti. How does that feel to have an egg in your hair? Gross. You know, it's a good conditioner. For monkeys, probably. Well, you know, you got one, too. Countdown, please. Three, two, one, go. Oh! oh. Was there confetti? There was one confetti, one you got down. one of uh, both. Dripping down. And you can help no! me out, and you can help me out, and a little in your bowls. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a party here today. Yeah, confetti! Confetti! <laughs> Landon, what's that on your chin? It's my new best friend. Toothpaste? Yeah. You should get a little on the other chin. Yeah. <laughs> Next question goes to Declan. Huh. As president, Fillmore had some successes with foreign policy and trade when he sent a squadron of ships to which country? A, Japan, B, China, or C, Zimbabwe? A, Japan. That is correct, Japan. In 1853, Fillmore sent Commodore Matthew Perry to Japan to persuade its leaders to end their strict policy of isolation with the outside world. This watershed moment brought wealth and technology to Japan by establishing trade which greatly benefited both countries. <sighs> what do you think this is? Avocados? I wish it was avocados. It is, that is beans? mushy peas. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Nice little flop in there. That smells so gross. It does. Let's just add a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. Since we're talking about Millard Fillmore, I think we should do a little more Fillmore in your bowl. It's Scoop a little bit, or, stir around. And then throw somewhere else. And that's a Fillmore if I've ever seen one. Ugh. Nice to meet you, Fillmore. <laughs> and now it's time for the final question. And this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. <gasps> but there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Make sure you listen to all the answer choices before hitting your buzzer. Here we go. Which law did Fillmore enforce as president that angered many Northerners? A, the right to work law, B, the Social Security Act, or C, the Fugitive Slave Law? Oh. <laughs> it looks like Landon hit it first. All right, Landon, what's your answer? 
C, Fugitive Slave Law. That is correct, Fugitive <gasps> Slave Law. The Fugitive Slave Law was part of the Compromise of 1850. It required all slaves who escaped their slaveholder to be captured and returned. Fillmore's enforcement of the law outraged many Northerners who opposed slavery, which made him unpopular. <sighs> One of these days, I'm just gonna write a cookbook. <laughs> Are you ready for this pie? No. Really? No. You gotta accept your fate with the pie. Oh, God. I even switched up the recipe this time. Now, why'd you do that? Because we can't just have the same pie yes, every we time. Can. Hey, I make the rules here. Oh. <laughs> and a little in the middle. Add a lot. Isn't this beautiful? No. I think we should add more. More? Yeah, more. No. If you insist. No! Yes. How dare you? Why not? I mean, what am I gonna do, say no? Yes, you're gonna say no! Can I get a countdown, please? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. No. That's so gross, oh my god. You cannot see. Ah. <laughs> he just needs a little more whipped cream. No, I don't! <laughs> Here's what we learned. Millard Fillmore was the 13th president of the United States. Before his term in office, he served as vice president under Zachary Taylor. In foreign affairs, Fillmore sent an expedition to open trade with Japan. His popularity plummeted when he signed the Compromise of 1850 that helped delay civil war but failed to resolve the contentious issue of slavery. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is Declan. Yeah! On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah! For being such great sports, both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now, shake hands. Um, oh, the seaweed mealworm. Oh, oh, that's nice. And how about a high five? Oh. <laughs> and one for me? <laughs> I tried to be quick. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.